My husband and I were recently visiting my family in Delaware. We were walk walking along the beach and we saw a little girl playing in the sand, building sand castles, and she smiled up at us. We stopped to ask her, so how are you doing? She looked up. She thought about the question for a few seconds. Then she firmly responded, perfect. At that, we knew that her world was one of infinite possibilities. I don't think she would have accepted anything less than perfect. Do you think the attitude you start each morning with affects the rest of your day? And if it does, then will your attitude each day affect the rest of how the week will go? How about the rest of the year? Do you think that your attitude affects the rest of your life? We'll also talk about things like what type of people you like to be around and are you that type of person? Are you someone that you'd hang around with? Have you ever met someone who had the best attitude toward life? Sincerely had a great attitude, not that fake, happy, bubbly person that you can't stand to be around because they've always... Uh, got something bad to say about everyone as soon as they turn their back, but that instead that silly person that is wonderful to be around. Um, the cup is half full type of people. Those type of upbeat people usually have good friends and family members who want to be around them. How often do you wake up on a warm, sunny Saturday morning and you think, oh, I think I'll call Shelly. She's always miserable to be around. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll want to spend the day together. Unfortunately, not too many people have that much mental fortitude. We like to be around people who have a great attitude towards life. Um, so we'll talk about how attitude affects us, affects our careers, affects our family life. In this course, we're also going to study and debate the idea of perspective. Is the cup full or half empty? And also, is the cup completely full or completely empty? Okay, so for the idea of is the cup, ha cup half full or half empty, when we go down to Oregon to visit my husband's family, we stay down there for about a week and we all rent a big beach house together. And my husband has a ton of brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews. And we all stay in the same house and talk about a chance to practice your human relations skills. Well, Oregon is notorious for rain. So after breakfast, everyone is gathered down in the kitchen and they start talking about going for a walk on the beach and it starts raining so what do you think all the adults say oh damnation it's raining and what do you think all the kids say Woohoo! it's raining just a difference in perspective and then is the cup completely full or completely empty here's an example a shoe company sends two marketing scouts to a remote region of south america to study the prospects for expanding their business one shoe company representative sends back a telegram saying, Situation hopeless. Stop. No one wears shoes. The other representative writes back triumphantly, Incredible business opportunity. Stop. They have no shoes. I've always found it very intriguing that not everyone sees the world exactly as I do. So I've wondered, why does everyone see the same situation very differently? Have you ever taken a long road trip with family or friends? And isn't it funny how each person has a completely different story of the experience when you get back? On road trips with my husband, the things I remember are how I took great naps, how I forgot to pack something vital, how wonderful the scenery was. My husband only remembers my horrible driving and how close he was to death when I was behind the wheel. He claims that he might as well have been riding in the sidecar next to the Grim Reaper. Well, people are selective about information and how they process it. I saw a man in Fred Myers with three kids. He was one one of his kids was sitting in the cart trying to pull items off the shelf. If he if the father made the mistake of getting too close to uh, to the cereal or to candy in the aisles, one was running ahead of him while his dad was yelling at him, "Get back!" Like asking about whatever it was he saw in front of him. He was oblivious to what they were saying. The father couldn't hear a word. Have you ever seen that? He was using selective perception. One of his sons could have said, The back of your pants are split open, Dad, and your butt's hanging out. But I don't think he would have heard. 